it finally happened. So today we came to a Centro de Enmarcado uh, to get a couple pieces of art framed. I'm not sure how long it's going to take or how much it will cost or anything like that, but find out. I could not believe how inexpensive that is. It's Tuesday today and they're going to be ready on Friday. It's about $10 to get the little one framed and that's with a frame behind glass and everything. And then about $20 to get the big one framed. So it was less than $30 for the two of them, which was a huge surprise to me. I was expecting something like maybe 30 or 40 dollars each something like that we had to refuel so my took me to one of the most famous places for tacos here in queretro it's called tacos de copete and it's on the street cinco de mayo and they've been around for 30 years you said yes and what's good here i mean they just have three types of tacos and all of them price it's 20 pesos so <laughs> there's not a huge variety of them but the three of it are super good yes the butcher por favor uh, de copete me das cuatro okay. y de montalayo me das dos por favor i would never have known that this place was here because it's just like a door on one street on this street with no signage out front indicating it's a business or anything like that so if you want to come here follow those directions on Google Maps. What are your favorite tacos in the city? Uh, I think this one's. These, really? Okay. Yes. You said you have to get here pretty early before they run out? Yeah, because they just open from 7 to 9.30 at 9. But if you arrive, for example, here at 8.30 or something like that, yep. you won't find anything. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. And today, we're here a little before today, 8. Today, it's, yeah, today it's uh, pretty calm because it's Monday. But if you come here on Friday or Saturday... Yeah. So. Come here on the weekend. Make sure you're early. Mm -hmm. 7 to 9.30 is yes. when you're open? Okay. Good to know. Alright, well I'm excited to try this. Apparently, Mai is really hungry today because <laughs> she's like, how many do you want? And I was like, one of each. And then she starts ordering, hi, I'll have 10 of this, and then I'll have four of this and two of this, please. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's because I they are my family favorite tacos. So honestly, every time that I come to a place that I really know they like, I used to buy more for them. I, I really like to do that. So. I, 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 I perfectly know that they are going to be as happy as I am right now, but I'm <laughs> super anxious to arrive home so I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, we got to go eat. <laughs> and actually, something that I really like about these tacos are, is that they are for real one of the most traditional tacos here in Querétaro. Mm. It's nothing fancy, but I love the way that he prepares the tacos. He takes care of, a lot about the whole process. Uh -huh. He was wearing gloves as well. So that's something that you cannot usually see when you are eating uh, some kind of street food. So I think it, it really worth it to go and try these tacos here. Put some verduras on that. Be careful with the sauce. Oh, it's spicy. Okay, we'll just... Okay, I hope it's not too spicy. Okay, <coughs> trying Mai's favorite tacos in the city for the first time. This is the Montelayo. It's pretty good. So, we actually got the tacos quite a while ago because it took us a while to get home because we first had to stop by her parents' house to drop off some tacos there. And then we had some deliveries. So now, finally, like an hour later, we were eating tacos. <laughs> so we had to reheat them, which I would rather not do. But I think they are good, even they are reheating it. I just realized that I forgot to put limon on the tacos before I ate them. So now I have to try them all over again. Okay. Montelayo, copete y bucho. What is this? Buche. Buche. Okay. All right, I'm going to try buche with everything, including limon. I can't believe you didn't use limon. I forgot. And you are spending every day with me, and mm. that's a shame. Yeah, I would have used a uh, yellow lemon, but unfortunately we don't have any. And your shitty salsa. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I highly, highly recommend the Copete tacos here. They're so good. It's pretty tender. There's a lot of flavor there too. 
which is um, carnitas, like the midi you can usually have at carnitas, okay. but chopped in small pieces. Okay. And and so the taste is similar to carnitas, but maybe not too salty. And then you add the cilantro, the onion, the salsa. The salsa isn't too spicy. I can put as much on it as I want and it doesn't burn my mouth off, which sometimes is a bit of a risk. Today for lunch, we came to this place that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's called Hacienda Los Laureles. Uh, really highly recommended by a lot of people. My first impression here is like, okay, this is where all the rich business people in the city come for lunch. <laughs> Everyone's like really dressed up. But it, I just did a t-shirt, so I'm a little underdressed. If you come here, you might want to put on a collared shirt or something. To drink, I got a Perrier. It was 55 pesos. And then they brought out these limes. They're, they're enormous. They're like twice the size of a normal lime, three times the size. It's crazy. To eat, I got the lengua in salsa verde, or beef tongue in green sauce. And before I had lengua, I was thinking, oh, that, that's that's disgusting, I would never eat that. But if you've never tried it, it tastes like a tender roast beef. That's how I would describe it at least. And I've only ever had it in tacos before. I've never actually ordered it where it's like the main thing on the plate. So here's just kind of covered in a green sauce that you might find in green enchiladas. And this was kind of pricey, it was 320 pesos. And then Mai doesn't want to be on camera today, but she got uh, three sopes and they were 140 pesos. I'll ask her how they were and then I'll relay the information to you. Mai, how were the, how are, how are the sopes? <laughs> okay, so she gives the sopes a thumbs up. They, they look really good. Ooh, here's a piece that has too many taste buds on it. I don't like seeing all the taste buds. All right, I'll give this a try here. Yeah, it's, it's really flavorful. Uh, the green sauce has a ton of flavor, maybe a little bit citrusy, and it's, it has a tiny bit of spice, but it's not too spicy at all. I really like it. I was sad for a moment because the waiter came and took the tortillas away without saying anything, without asking me, <laughs> but then he came back with warmer tortillas, which I really appreciate. Oh, and by the way, the, the food came out here really, really quickly. The service is super fast. Someone's enjoying their meal. <laughs> this thing is really close to me. He doesn't care. He's just here for the food. The paintings we dropped off to get framed were supposed to be ready yesterday, but they called Mai and said they weren't going to be ready on time. I'm not sure if they're ready yet, but I was in the neighborhood, so I'm stopping by today to see if I can pick them up. Hola, estoy aquí para recoger un par de cuadros. Sí, permítame. Okay. Uh, cuatrocientos. Cuatrocientos. Okay, gracias. Oh, they look so pretty. Today we came to Franco Cocino Urbana and I've been wanting to come here for a long time because this is actually one of my favorite restaurants. To drink, I got their watermelon margarita, which sounded really good. Uh, and it, it looks amazing too. This is 145 pesos. Yeah, I like it. It's really good. I like it. Actually, it has natural watermelon. I thought yeah. it was going to be something like... With syrup. Uh -huh. Like fake stuff. But no, it's, it's like legit watermelon. So I got the French burger, which has goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes and arugula and onion. Mm, I'm excited for this. And then it came with French fries, but then I asked for something else on the side and they offered uh, mashed potatoes, so I went with that. So the mix of flavors is nice. For the price of the burger, I was honestly expecting like a more flavorful meat. Uh, the, the meat tastes like it's a, a little bit drier than it should be, but the, re the rest of it is really good. I really like the combination of everything else together. So Mai got the roast beef sandwich, but this is looks nothing like what a roast beef sandwich looks like in the US. It looks more like a French dip sandwich kind of thing. I don't know what's that, but I'll try it. Is it good? It smells really good. You're gonna love it. May because I? Because it tastes a lot like butter. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I put butter on everything, but I really don't. 
Only bready stuff. This is bready stuff. It's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> mm. I made me this ramen that was totally amazing. And she's like, you know, this is something I like to make when I don't really feel like cooking, when I feel lazy. And it was so freaking good. I'm like, this is what you make when you're feeling lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been wanting more of that since that one time and she's like well you have to buy this particular type of ramen and then I add my own cheese and meat to it so that's what we're here today we're here in Hurikia and there's a Korean store so we're gonna hope cross our fingers that we can find that ramen in here oh hell yeah do you think we should get the individual boxes or this one which has five packages I think we should get like five of these okay. five with five packages each. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just one? This one? That's no, one. no. You want more? Si. Okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Because I... No. <laughs> because this is good as well, but you haven't tried it. This is Carbonara. The this is good as well, but... Okay. I don't know if you want to take one and a couple of packages of this because you haven't tried it and if you like it we can have you back. tried it You've... this one yeah okay then you like it it's good okay let's get a big one then okay. you should get one of these as well what is it it's a jar with honey yeah and it has a pieces a lot of pieces of ginger in it Ooh. so basically you add it for example at your cup with hot water and you can have a honey and ginger tea. That'd be really can, good for your stomach. You can or, you can put another kind of tea as well. So oh, I really love this. And, so. Interestingly, here's a honey ginger tea right yeah, here. Yeah, but this is much better. Okay, I cool. I've tried it before and I love it. All right. Okay. Oh, this is a cool oh, store. No. What do you find? My tea. Oh, okay. Can I have this one? What is it? It's my favorite brand of coffee. Your it's favorite amazing. kind of coffee? Yeah. This is coffee? Yes, oh. but it's amazing. Huh. They have this strawberry milk I love. Does it have to be refrigerated? It can survive. Let's <laughs> take it. So what is that? It's a milk, milk, strawberry milk. But honestly, I love it because it doesn't have like a lot of sugar. Then okay. It's like, I don't know, 30, 70% less sugar than oh. these normal beverages. So okay. It's really good, but it's weird. Mm. Because it's strawberry and apple. Hmm. But it's not sweet at all. Mm. Nice. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Hurikia actually has a lot of expats, but most of those expats are Korean or Japanese uh, because there's a lot of Korean and Japanese companies here. So you'll be able to find Korean stores, Japanese stores, and restaurants of those kinds as well. By the way, if you want to learn how to make Mai's cheesy ramen, go follow her on Instagram. Uh, but if you want to come to this store and buy some of this cheesy ramen, I'm sorry, I bought almost all of it. You bought all of it. Sorry, hopefully they'll replenish the stock soon. <laughs> uh, and each package of these was 200 pesos and it contains five packages of ramen. Since we got a new home, we need some stuff for that home. So we're at this new store here in Purikio, or maybe this is Horika. It's right next to uh, Antea Mall, and this is called the Home Market. So we're gonna check it out and see what they have in here. But if you want angel wings, you need a second one. <laughs> 43 pesos for the bunny ears. <laughs> I want the <laughs> I want the bunny ears. Okay, which color? White or pink? White. Okay. And one for Alaska. For Alaska. No. Alaska doesn't need any. What are you getting? These palillos. What do you use them for? For kitchen. For what? <laughs> we can cook things with this. They're very useful. Do you like them. stab things with it and Yes. Okay. Cool. I like having these things to close up bags and they're 30 pesos. Gang Ponteraste. I was thinking about this one for my art room because there's nothing in the world. This one is really cute as well. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> we already have a fun. <laughs> what are these for? Are they to put like hot dishes on on the table mm, or? I think they're for the table. Or you can just hang it. <laughs> okay. Because they have the hole, but I was thinking to put some hot stuff over it. Yeah. And it's really nice actually. Yeah. It's nice. I think I'm gonna take this one. But I don't know if we should take just one or two. I don't know either. Okay, I'll I'll take this. Okay. So I've already bought two. And but we have three spaces, so one is missing. Okay. Yeah, fine. But a, I don't know which one. Do you think we'll be able to keep it alive? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so hard for me to choose. Well, we were able to get out of there before going broke, but let me tell you, it was close. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> it finally happened. It's October 2022, and a long time ago, the U.S. repealed their mask requirements, and since then, one state at a time, pretty much, in Mexico has been deciding, okay, masks are no longer required here, but it seemed like it was never going to end here in Queretaro. But just as of a couple of days ago, at the very end of September, they're like, okay, masks are no longer required for businesses, and I'm here at Starbucks right now, and of the guests that were in line, about half were wearing masks and half weren't. So I'm interested to see how that plays out over the coming weeks if more and more decide to stop wearing masks. I have been craving camarones uh, shrimp. So today I came to Marisco's Mary where they have a whole bunch of different options for shrimp. I don't know, they probably have like 10 or 15 different ways you can get your shrimp prepared. And no matter which you choose, it's 210 pesos. I got the coconut shrimp and normally when I get coconut shrimp they give me like five shrimp or something but there's quite a few on this plate here so I'm, I'm really excited for this and it seems like a pretty good value all right let's give this a try I'll dip it in the mango salsa I always love the mango salsa that comes with coconut shrimp mm. this is so good and for 210 pesos here you get a lot of them it's a lot of food so I'm really happy with this. I'm definitely gonna come back here. I was asking Mai tonight, I'm like, can we please go get dinner at Tacos de Copete again? Because ever since I had those, I've just been craving them. So we came here to Centro and they're closed tonight, which is super disappointing. Google Maps says they're open, but you can't always trust that here. Anyway, if you like this video, click on this one. It's a video we made last week where Mai and I went out into Queretaro asking people if they felt safe living here, if they wanted to live here their whole life, if they wanted to move somewhere else. I thought it was a very interesting video, so watch that one until we see you next Saturday.